Okay, everybody, David Trailer of the Trailer Law Firm, and I'm headed out on another jail run. Uh, this one was kind of perfectly timed. I got the call around, I don't know, what was it, 5.30 or 6? I think it was 6. It was already dark. I got the call just as we were heading out to go look at some Christmas lights and get some dinner. And I thought, oh, no, if they call me and they get the money together and they're going to want to get me back over here to get through the jail call, I'm going to have to cut short all this family stuff. But uh, they didn't do that. They they called about five hours later, four four hours later, and I was just finishing up feeding my uh, my 13 month old through her tube. So I just got all that. It takes it takes a lot of work to get that stuff together. And uh, so I washed the bottle, warmed up the milk, cleaned the line, primed the pump, and got it all ready. Pump plugged her in. And, battery is low so I had to plug in the charger um, but got all that done and then I get the phone call saying they need me to meet him at the jail so I'm on my way to the jail to, to, to take care of this and it's perfect perfect timing you know I would have jumped if they had called but then my wife would have had more to work on and it just would have been a little less uh, I would have been wouldn't have been as smooth this is super, super smooth and now I get to go to Dallas see the nice skyline it's a beautiful night out and uh make a little video get somebody out of jail help them out continue to be able to pay some bills uh, it's an assault case so you know we almost always get those dismissed in the city of dallas i'm not going to claim that we always do because no one can make that claim even if it's if it's true <laughs> We get most things dismissed because just the circumstances of the, the arrests and the complaining witnesses and the way they handle cases in Dallas and the way things the way things go down there. We kind of know the system and know how to make it happen. So um, you don't want to you don't want an assault case sticking to you because if you get an assault case and it comes a conviction, then the next assault case you get charged with is a felony. It's family violence. And, Nobody wants to go from a class C misdemeanor all the way up to a felony just because they have a prior. So these things have to be taken seriously and handled well, and that's what we do. Um, so the place I'm going to is Dallas Marshall's office. It's on the it's just on the side of Deep Ellum, on the edge of Deep Ellum, right under Highway 30, right behind the Dallas Central uh, substation. They got uh, the fire department main office there and what else they have over there they've got the uh, traffic signs workshop a bunch of city services are over there anyway well that, that's where I'm headed and it shouldn't take long to get this guy get this guy out I just have to fill out a bond form sign up a, put together a representation, representation letter to file it and that's about it Get them out, and then we'll set it for court and go to court. And of course, I'll wear my mask when I go in there. Get this thing out of the way and get back home and take care of my wife and kids. So, that's how tonight's going. I always like to say at the close of these videos that it's only a free country if you're not in jail. So, try to stay out of trouble. Don't get yourself thrown in jail. But if you do find some trouble, or, if, or trouble finds you, Give us a call and we'll see what we can do to help you put it all behind you. That's that's kind of our favorite thing to do is help normal people, people who didn't intend to be in trouble with the law, put whatever things come their way behind them so that they can get back to their normal lives and be the good citizens, fathers, mothers, and parents, and providers, and whatever else. Just live their lives. This, this city that we all live in, it's, it's, it's all of our city. You know, we live here, this is our city. We should be free to enjoy it. So that's what we try to achieve for our clients. In fact, just today, I got a guy off of an ankle monitor that was just killing, killing, killing his existence. I mean, you know, for some people, an ankle monitor's not that big a deal, but for him and for his circumstances, it was horrible. And I think even the judges don't necessarily realize how 
how severe the restrictions are on these light monitors sometimes. So, um, yeah, like a carjacking or something. Um, so yeah, we got this guy off the leg monitor today, the, you know, just before the holiday, and um, he is so thrilled. So hopefully that'll turn out well for him. I'm gonna shut this video down. Y'all take care.